Hello once again, Matthew. Hello to you and to all your listeners. Greetings from Northern California. This is Dr. Dave of Shrink Wrap Radio, and I hope I can keep my wits about me. It is unseasonably hot here. I work out of an upstairs office in our home, which is not air conditioned, and the temperature in here right now is about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't know if you can do the conversion in your head. I can't do these conversions, but let me tell you, it is hot and my brain is a little bit jammed up. But at any rate, I'm here to tell you about Shrink Wrap Radio episode number 404, venturing out into a somewhat uh, different area for our show, which is about the erosion of privacy on the social web with computer scientist Dr. Jennifer Goldbeck. Goldbeck is spelled G-O-L-B-E-C-K. And I discovered her work on TED.com, which I am assuming that everybody out there knows about the wonderfulness of TED.com. I don't remember if it was one of the main TED.coms or a local TEDx.com, but the title of her presentation, I believe, was The Curly Fries Conundrum. And I highly recommend that uh, anybody who's remotely interested go and watch that presentation, which is all of about 15 minutes. Well, I interview her for close to an hour on episode 404 because I think that the erosion of privacy that's happening on social media, such as Facebook, uh, has not only important societal implications, political implications, implications for our freedom and so on, but also psychological implications. I believe that potentially this uh, lack of freedom and perhaps a, in some quarters, I think young, many young people kind of throw up their hands and say, oh, well, there's nothing that we can do about it. Uh, so I give up my privacy. Who cares? Uh, I think that is a costly attitude, ultimately. Now, I know that some people would argue that it, it leads us to a kind of a more utopian state where everything is out in the open. Uh, I'm not sure it's such a good idea because not only are we being tracked by commercial entities, we used to worry about the government as Big Brother. Well, now it's big corporate, big corporate America, big global corporations, right? that are tracking us all over the place. And, and uh, Dr. Goldbeck's research into social media uh, reveals that we are being tracked in ways that we don't begin to realize. That they can, uh, one of the things that we explore and that she goes into in her TED.com presentation is the impact of likes on Facebook. And people who like curly fries, <laughs> they can deduce all sorts of things about those people, their political orientation, uh, who they hang out with, who their friends are, uh, their economic status, maybe some ideas about where they live and so on. And all these immense databases can be combined to give uh, pinpoint accuracy about our preferences, our habits, etc. Not just our purchasing habits, but also our political orientation, our sexual orientation, our marital status, our work, etc. I think it's potentially alarming and something that needs to be discussed and needs to be aired. So uh, that's what I try to do in episode number 404. So uh, I hope that you all will check it out and find it worthwhile. So that's it for today, and back to you, Matthew.